Hi, my name's Lou, and today I'm going to be reading the internet for you. And today's what is going to be a topic near and dear to everyone's hearts from a thread entitled, How Can I Be a Juggalo? posted in the Insane Clown Posse Forum at Topics.com. And the OP was written by a member by the name of Jugganoob. And it goes like this. Hi, I just started listening to ICP. They rule, but I want to be a juggalo. What do I do? Any help appreciated. And Joker's smile adds, there is no orientation seminar, induction ceremony, registration list, or self-addressed stamp envelope you can send in for your member's card. There is no checklist or aptitude test you have to pass. Being a juggalo is nothing more than being considered a juggalo by others. Do others consider you a juggalo? But if you want my views on the matter, being a juggalo is not a state of quote-unquote being, but one of quote-unquote becoming. The way of the juggalo is a journey, not a destination. If you want to be a juggalo, you need to open your mind to the shadow side of the world and start looking at the true reality and the true self. You have to give up your illusions and destroy everything you hold sacred. You have to realize this world is an asylum, and it is the mad who belong and the sane who are outcast and rejected. And when you finally hit bottom, all your petty opinions and beliefs ripped away like weeds, that is when you will see the carnival, pick up the hatchet, and begin your life as one of the wicked few, the denizens of the carnival, the juggalos. And hectic psycho ads. Hey, look, ignore that guy because he's full of bull, okay? You want to be a juggalo? All you have to do is listen to the music and understand the meaning. Help out other juggalos when they need it. Help out anyone who needs it, and you're pretty much there. Wouldn't hurt to wear a hatchet man somewhere, though. Boondocks, Violent J, and Shaggy 2 Dope have all said similar to what I just told you. And Will Kill 10, 20, 43, 9 writes, Look, ignore both of them. Listening to what they said is good and all, but the other lows won't like it. We hate fakes trying to be in our family. You want to be a low? Go out and find someone who is a low. Tell them you want to be a low and ask them if they can put you down. Don't just say you're a low because if you do and someone tests you, you're fucked. And Juggalo Pope adds, If you can say this and mean it, you're in the family. I am a Juggalo. I am an individual guided by light. I know who I am and who I want to be. I recognize that the path to Shangri-La requires an open mind. I shall not judge. I am part of a family. I shall love my family as I would my blood. I shall do my family no harm as I know. What is done to others shall surely be done to me. I strive to honor my family and not disgrace their name. I am a ninja. I have no fear. I do not fear the unknown, for I embrace the wonders of the world around me and the differences in others. I shall meet adversity head on, for I am a survivor. Nothing can stop my shine. I am human. I recognize my flaws. I shall strive to change the things I can control and seek strength for the things I cannot. I shall cherish the teachings of my ancestors and the family who have fallen before me. I have love. With love there is unity and strength. Love does not hurt, nor does it seek to destroy. I too shall not hurt or seek to destroy. With love in my heart, love for my family, and love for the carnival, I shall find the path to Shangri-La. And finally, Jelly Nuts adds, To be a true juggalo, you need to have a hatchet man tattoo. Well, I hope that has given you some insight into your quest to discover what it means to become a juggalo. I know that I've come away with a deeper understanding of my relationship to Shangri-La. And also, after having my weeds ripped out all about the dark carnival and junk 